Hello everyone. So in a short video, I'm going to show us how to wake a dead person up in a technique we call cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Yeah, um, a lot of people have died a sudden death, a death without being announced, um, without planning, without any suspicion of death coming. A typical example was my dad. He was actually preparing to go to farm on the fateful day when he died. We just saw him on the floor. Fortunately, the person that I met him there, I don't know how long he's been on the floor anyway before he was met, but um, we lost him uh, because of the lack of knowledge and probably when he was met as well, it might be too late. So how do you wake a dead person up? If the dead person is fortunate enough to be met early enough, he can be brought back to life. And how do you do that? In a, a, a technique we call cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So it can be done manually with your bare hands, and it can be done as well with a device we call defibrillator. So I'm going to show us how to do it with your bare hands. Because it can happen at any time, anywhere, and you may not have any equipment at hand. So how do you do it? First of all, when you see someone lying on the floor or anywhere or saw him as he was collapsing or whatever, first thing to do is to make sure the environment is safe for you and for the patient before you dive into cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Having a secure environment, second thing is to check for the sign of life. Because this, just as I said, is how to wake a dead person up. We don't do it for people that are living. If there's any sign of life, then there's no need to do it. So first of all, you check if the person is alive, any sign of life, how do you do it? By tapping the person and calling the name and looking as well to see if the person is breathing. So I'm going to go, hey John, John, are you alright? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? There's no response, so which suggests uh, he's dead. So the next thing we'll do is to check for, I will call for help. So, hello, anyone around? Someone help me? So just call if there's anyone, the person will come and assist and make plans to take the person to hospital as well. If there's no one around, you don't need to leave. First of all, you have to do the CPR, cardiac pulmonary resuscitation. Having called for help, the next thing is to check for airways. First of all, you tilt the head to open up the airways slightly, hand under the chin to make sure the airway is true. Then you check if the person is breathing, look at the chest, any breathing movement, you can put your ears near the mouth to see if the person is breathing. So if he's breathing, you don't need to do CPR. All you need to do is to put him in a recovery position, lay him on the left side, take the mouth slightly downward so that any fluid in the mouth will flow out. But if there's no sign of breathing, that suggests the person is dead. And you need to wake the person up as soon as possible. The research suggests that if a cardiac arrest happens, in every minute that passes, the chance of the person coming back to life reduces by 10%, meaning within 10 minutes, the person is gone forever and you can't wake him up again. So what do we do? So having cleared the airway, having opened up the airways and confirmed that the person is not breathing, so we suggest he is dead temporarily. Then we go into what we call chest compression. So in the chest compression, you do it in a rhythmic fashion. So you're going to give deliver 30 chest compressions and what we call breath of life. You're going to breathe into the person's mouth or nose. If you're using the mouth, you close the nose and vice versa. So 30 chest compressions and two breath of life. And the rate of delivering the compression matters a lot and the depth of compression. So these are the things that make it effective. The depth of compression for an adult is going to be 5 cm deep. You want to compress the chest up to 5 cm deep. Then the rate is 2 compressions per second. 2 compressions. So you are going to deliver roughly 120 compressions in 1 minute. Yeah, so that's how it's done. Then the place of compression is the left side of the heart, of the chest. So somewhere here around the sternum, around the breastbone, we're going to deliver it around here. If you're able to do it in a particular fashion, there is a high chance that the person will come back to life. 
it is a case of cardiac arrest. So let's go. You clamp your fingers in between each and preferably you stay at the right side of the patient while you deliver it at the left side of the chest. So we're gonna go 30 compressions and two breaths of life. There we go. compressions then two breath of life so that is it and you're going to repeat this procedure for about five times then hopefully if someone came for help you can switch over with the person we need to con continue this exercise till there is a sign of life or you get exhausted and there's no one to help you or maybe an ambulance comes to take the person to the hospital. Please, this exercise is very simple and it's very essential. You can lose a lovely one just in the twinkle of an eye. It happens, it happened to my dad. So please, cardiac arrest is not something far from us. The heart works so hard, it beats roughly 80 times in a minute. So in one hour, the heart beats like 115,000 times. And it beats like that every single day, every hour, every, every month, every week, every year. If you are 70 years, you can calculate how many years your heart, how many times your heart has been working without resting. It can happen to anybody, irrespective of age. Please and please learn it. Teach it to other people. Let's save lives. It matters. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.